welcome. Um, so welcome back or welcome to Yoga with Kira. Um, today is day three of Emerge. Um, music. Yes, no, I'm off. Um, and uh, we're going to keep going with our feet. Wow, that was a bit intense. So come rest in onto your bum and we shall move. Great. <laughs> um, yeah, something's happening with my camera. I wouldn't recognize my camera for some reason. So sitting on your bum and just roll into your ankles. Big circles. And then roll in the other direction. Sorry for the delay. So as you roll into your ankles, how is that in your legs? Yes, okay, now the music is gone. Um, second, great, music is now gone. So great, rolling into your ankles, big circles, huge circles, and then circle in the other direction. Oh, live, live sometimes is intense. Nice, open all your toes wide, open your fingers wide, squeeze your toes in, squeeze your fingers in, open your fingers wide, stretch your toes wide, squeeze them in, squeeze them in. Great, and then just stretch down into your feet and pull your toes towards you and then shine your feet towards each other and then shine your feet away from each other. So it's like you turn your feet towards each other and then away. And the question is like, when would we use that particular type of movement? And I'll show you. So turn your feet towards each other and then away, towards each other and away. And here, it doesn't seem logical, but bring your feet wide and then shine your feet towards each other. And this is the beginning place for water washing when we're standing. So just do that here. Turn your feet towards each other and then away, towards each other and then away. And then draw a circle out here with your feet. So when we change the angle of our legs to our hips, our muscles move in a different way. So just roll your ankles in the other direction. Big circle. Open and close your toes here. Nice. And then shine your feet away and then try and bring the baby toe side of your feet down towards the floor. So it should feel really weird what we're trying to do. It's like shine your feet towards each other and then try and bring the baby toe side down. Whoa. <laughs> nice. Shine your feet away and try and bring the big toe side down. Mine doesn't do that at all. Nice. Cool. And then just relax your feet and just rock your toes, big toes in, baby toes out. Big toes in, baby toes out. Nice. Cool. So come all the way over onto your hands and knees and then push back into your downward dog. So downward dog, your feet are hip distance apart, your hands are shoulder width apart and just begin to push down into one foot and then push down into the other. So you're feeling the sense of as you push your heel down in the direction of the floor, your calves are lengthening. And as I push my heel down, I'm going to straighten that leg and straighten my leg. So I'm really feeling my calves, my feet, my toes, because the knee that's bending, I'm starting to stretch into the toes of the bending knee. Let's feel that cycling through your legs, connecting into your legs. Nice. Walk your feet forward so that your elbows are on your knees and then lift all your toes up. Grab the floor with all your toes. Lift your toes up and grab the floor. Nice. One more time. Lift your toes. Grab the floor. Cool. Come all the way up to stand. Great. We're standing. Ha uh ha. -huh. So how do we collect, connect our legs? So hands to your hips and then bend forward and sit your bum down to whatever distance you feel comfortable sitting down, okay? And then as you push into your feet and straighten your legs, squeeze your bum and push your hips forward. And you should feel like your legs are like whing, super strong, okay? Bend your knees and then squeeze your bum and push your hips forward. And it happens together, bend your knees, Squeeze, push, bend your knees, squeeze, push. And imagine that your head is getting taller as you do this, or your spine is getting taller. 
squeeze, push super strong legs. I'm gripping the floor with my toes. Squeeze, push. Squeeze, push. Squeeze, push. Nice. So this action of squeeze, push, we're going to be using that in loads of different ways. So we're going to start today by using it in elephant and then also in water whooshing. So bend your knees and lean forward and then drop your right arm down so it's hanging. And then as you rise up, sweep your right arm across the front of your face and squeeze, push your hips. Nice. Down. Let your left arm hang. Squeeze, push your hips as you rise. So down, squeeze, push, really connect into the lengthening of your legs. It's like, whoa, so cool. Squeeze, push. Squeeze, push. And I feel this really powerful connectivity from my pelvis down into my feet when I really feel the straightening of my knees and the pushing of my feet into the floor, pushing of my hips forward. Nice. One more time each side. Squeeze, push. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Squeeze, push. Nice. So, okay, start with your feet parallel and then just rock your right foot Baby toe, big toe, baby toe, big toe, baby toe, big toe. Nice. Bring it a little bit wider. Baby toe, big toe, baby toe, big toe, baby toe, big toe. A little bit wider. Baby toe, big toe, baby toe, big toe, baby toe, big toe. And then stay on the baby toe side and bring your left elbow to your left knee. And really feel like your baby toe side of your right foot's on the floor. And then reach your right hand as far forward as you can and then pull your right elbow back and so you should feel like your right foot is really super strong as you do this i'm pushing the baby toe side into the floor as i reach and pull back one more time reach and pull back nice come all the way up hop 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 your foot back in other side so left foot baby toe big toe Baby toe, big toe, baby toe, big toe. A little bit out. Baby toe, big toe. And as I do this, I'm really feeling the outside of my foot. I'm really realizing I don't think I use the outside of my foot that much in the day. It's been very interesting the last few days. And then out further. Baby toe, big toe, baby toe, big toe. And then anchor the baby toe side down. Bring your elbow down to your knee. Reach your left hand forward. Pull your elbow back forward, back, forward, back, one more time, and forward, and back, nice, hop your foot in, hop, 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 all the way back to center, so how do we bring all those elements together into water whooshing, so bring your feet wide, nice, push into the baby toe sides of your feet, Bend your knees and really feel the baby toe side of your feet. And my hands are resting on my knees. Even like push the baby toe side down like you're about to lift the big toe side of your feet. Nice. Bring your left elbow down to your left knee. Turn the left foot more towards the left. And then if I want to bend this right leg and then straighten and push into the hip, I want to really check the angle of that heel. So feel that a few times. Bend your knee, squeeze, push. This is this moment. Bend your knee, push your hip forward. Bend your knee, push your hip forward. Bend your knee, push your hip forward, pause there. So I should feel this really amazing length through the front of the right hip and my right leg should feel connected. Pushing down into the baby toes out of my foot, but my whole leg has that squeeze, push feeling to it which is bend your knee and then squeeze your bum, push your hip forward. Suddenly I feel like, wow, my leg is really strong and connected. Nice, other side. Both elbows, both knees, feet are pointing forward. Turn your right foot so it's more towards the right side. Bring your right elbow down to your knee. I'm gonna change the angle of that left heel so that when I bend my knee, it's comfortable. 
And when I straighten my leg, it's really comfortable. So bend your knee, squeeze your bum, push your hip forward. Bend your knee, squeeze, push. Bend your knee, squeeze, push. One more time. Bend your knee, squeeze, push, pause there. Should feel like a super strong connected leg. Baby toe side is pushing down. I've got this really powerful sense of there's a connection from the deep front of my belly down into my foot. Bend your knee one more time. Squeeze, push, even more connected. Now I feel it, oh, it's rising up into the side of my waist as I connect. Nice. Both elbows, both feet forward, both hands on your knees. So now we're gonna travel into water washing itself and we're gonna notice that the squeeze push happens naturally. So turn both toes towards the left side, left elbow down and then whoosh. So you drag your right hand along the floor and you bring your hand so it's the same height as your face and you squeeze, push that back leg. Nice. Both elbows to your knees, turn your toes towards the right, drag the left arm along, squeeze, push the back leg, begin to travel. So you can, as you, if you want, not have your hands on, the, on your, your elbows and your knees and you're pulling your arm back into lawnmower or you can have your hand on your knee or your elbow on your knee. Wow, it's so bright outside. Wow, so cool. Travel. Feel the squeeze, push, and the baby toe side down. Squeeze, push, baby toe side down. Squeeze, push, baby toe side down. Squeeze, push, baby toe side down. Nice. Walk yourself all the way in. Slowly rolling up. Hands to your hips. Roll, and as you roll, feel your feet on the floor. Feel like they're really solid and your feet don't move on the floor, but your weight changes through your feet. So there's nothing lifting on my feet. All my toes are staying stuck to the floor, my heels, and then roll in the other direction. Really solidly stuck to the floor with your feet. So nice. So we're gonna do a little bit of work for a swan. So Swan, we're gonna, this is the third day in a row. It's amazing, I'm staying focused. <laughs> Usually I say things like, oh, we're gonna do this for the whole month, and then I forget. Oh, so I have something to sit on, but when I say Swan for the next month, you're gonna do your version of Swan, okay? So if you have a chair in the room that you're in right now, or a wall, come bring your bum to the chair or your bum to the wall. I'm kind of in the dark here, but, you can see me. Great. So, bum to the wall. So swan, you're gonna reach your arms back, leaning back, and then you're gonna dive your arms forward like you're diving into a swimming pool. So you're either sitting on a chair or your bum is on the wall. Reaching back, your back is arching, and then diving forward, you're rounding. Swan back. And then swan forward. Swan back. Swan forward. So that's the one with your, you're sitting on a chair or your bum is on the wall. You can do swan and standing. So swan back. It's a bit like goalposts. And swan forward. Swan back. Forward. One more time. Swan back. Forward. Nice. You can do it sitting on something. I'm gonna sit on something. So when you're sitting on the floor, then the soles of your feet are wide or they can be flat. Swan back. Swan forward, knees come towards each other. Maybe you've decided to stay on, the, on your chair or on the wall for this one. Swan forward, one more time. Swan back, 
swan forward how cool so find your way with swan you could be on the wall on a chair standing sitting on something or sitting on the floor it's your lower back and your legs that will tell you what you need to do with it okay what i want is the chest movement of swan i don't mind what you're doing with your legs okay so yesterday i said that you'd need a sock something in the room preferably something material it's easier to use so come stand just for a moment and grab your sock with your foot so try and pick your sock up with your toe and if you can give your sock to the other hand drop it pick it up drop it pick it up drop it notice how your face and your hands want to help your toes my mouth really helps it's like <laughs> my eyebrows want to help so just a few times grab your sock lift it up grab your tea towel if that's what's handy just do that a few times grab squeeze lift grab squeeze you might be sitting on a chair for this movement grab squeeze now my left foot always is different and it doesn't quite get it one more time each side <laughs> grab squeeze lift grab squeeze <laughs> lift great come lie on your mat all the way down lying on the floor landing on the floor it's quite intense the start of the class for me when the camera goes wonky i don't know what's happening with my camera who knows i'll go check it out today a bit more so just sway your knees from side to side and notice how you roll from baby toe big toe to baby toe big toe but your legs are your feet are passive as you do this it's not your feet that are rolling it's your knees that are rocking so now keep your thigh center and rock baby toe big toe baby toe big toe baby toe big toe baby toe big toe and then lift your heels off the floor and then just draw a circle with your heels in the air just above the floor and then circle in the other direction it's a weird movement it's very cool i have this really deep wobble and shake in my feet as i do this <laughs> keep your heels off the floor slowly lower them down lift your heels off the floor slowly lower them down feel the wobble wow that's such a big wobble i'm just assuming that you have the same okay heels down <laughs> one more time heels down let them rest stretch your legs out long and pause So sorry about the camera i thought i had loads of time so i went for a little walk this morning but then that didn't give me enough time to deal with a, a thing that went wrong in the studio so i'll i'll have that extra few minutes in future i'll just bookmark that in my head nice so just settling in feeling your feet feeling your spine how is this how is this emerging sense of building up from the floor how is it to, to really rise up from the floor into your knees, into your hips? You know, feeling the baby toe side of your feet. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Um, I'll see you all tomorrow. I'll be on time, I promise. And um, yeah, good to see you. And sorry about the, the music as well. Some days, it uh, just, just all goes haywire. <laughs> um, so great. Thanks a million for joining me. Thanks for sticking with me. And you made it. Wow, day three, you made it. You made it. And remember, tomorrow is Saturday. Maybe it's easier or maybe it's harder for you to do it on a Saturday. Sunday, we're always on the floor. Sunday, yum. Mm, I love Sunday, yum. Um, so I'll see you then. And uh, great. Thanks for joining me. Ciao, ciao.